Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Tumblr questions video, I guess. Um, this is, I mean, I found it on Tumblr, but instead of, it says, instead of ask me, I want you to tell me your story, and then it says, tell me about, and then there's like a list. I think there's honestly only like 20 of these, but I really wanted to do one, and I didn't feel like going through my 14,000 pictures and trying to find some old ones, and this one I found like last night, so I was like, I'm gonna do this, so... I apologize, my bed isn't really made, but, um, is it ever? No. So, yeah, I'm just going to answer these, so, yeah, we're just going to start, I'm just in a tank top, I was way too lazy to, like, actually put on a cute shirt, so, yeah, okay, the first one is, tell me about why you're single, so, um, I feel like I've talked to you guys about this many times, but the last time I had a boyfriend was, like, Logan and we broke up because he moved to Missouri temporarily but it was for like 15 months and it was no contact no we didn't go to jail like if anyone is thinking that that's not what happened that was like a huge rumor at my school that like my boyfriend went to jail and I was like what the fuck so no I don't think that but it's like I mean it's really personal so yeah, and I'm going to try to go kind of fast because my camera is dying and I charged it for like, like it literally turned off, died, and I charged it for like five minutes. So it's already dying again, so. Yeah, um, the next one is how's your relationship going? Okay, well, I'm talking to this kid right now and um, I think it's going good. I mean, it was actually going super, super shitty for like the past few days because he like wasn't talking to me and I was like, okay, that's cute. But, um... He texted me today and told me that he was like, he's like, do you even know what I'm going through? And I was like, not if you don't tell me, obviously, no. And then he was like, I didn't want to talk to you because I knew, or he was like, I was waiting to talk to you because I knew it would make me happy. And I was like, that's what angels do. So yeah, it was actually like really shitty for a few days because he just like wasn't talking to me and I was like, what did I do? But I think we're good again, but um... I mean, you, it's high school, so, you know, that could be over in, like, a week. You never know, but he's, like, the hottest person I've ever seen in my life, so I hope it goes good, but, you know. Um, what do you dream about at night? I honestly very, very rarely remember my dreams, and most of the time, the only time I do remember them is if they're bad, which is, like, awesome. Or, this is awful, though. I hate it when it's, like, a really good dream, and then you wake up, and it's not real. That happens to me like all the time I had a dream it was actually like the day I talked to you guys about boys all the time because you guys are like my best friend you're all my best friends like I'm not even kidding but it was like the day after I started talking to this kid and I had a dream that he just like rejected me and totally hated me and was like I don't even know and I literally <laughs> woke up and I was crying and then I was like oh wait that wasn't even real but that was honestly the last dream I remember and that was like probably like two weeks ago I really never remember my dreams to be honest um what are you afraid of I have like my biggest fear I'm obsessed with law and order SVU it's like my favorite thing ever Olivia Benson is my wife so like my biggest fear is getting like kidnapped and raped because that would be the scariest thing ever 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 so that's like my biggest fear but then I mean I'm scared of like spiders and like bugs because I'm a girl like I seriously do not do bugs like I cannot like oh my god I can't it's getting late it's like seven o'clock so it's starting to get dark so sorry the lighting isn't the cutest but you know um yeah so mainly I guess those are like my fears I'm not really afraid of heights but honestly when you're on a roller coaster and you're going up and you know like the first hill is like the biggest and you go up super slow my anxiety is like through the roof like Going up the hill on the first roller coaster is, like, the scariest thing ever. And I think I'm going to die every single time, so, yeah. But I love roller coasters. But, yeah. Um, okay. What's your favorite song? Um, I like you guys because I feel like, like we're all teenagers, so a lot of you guys like the same type of music. I like rap, honestly. I love it. Um, I like the song Up Like Trump, Money dome antidote burn slow by Wiz khalifa featuring race rummer those are like my two favorite people so that song is so good you should listen to it if you've never heard it um island by migos thought it was a drought by future i love that song um she twerking by cash out that's like an old song but i just like became re-obsessed with it recently 
Um, and then I'm a Thug by YG featuring Meek Mill. That's another old song, but re obsessed. Um, a poem or song lyric that won't leave your head. Honestly, what's stuck in my hair right now is only real. I uh, know. Because I was listening to Pandora and that was just on. Oh, and by the way, a lot of you asked me where I find my music, and usually I just like listening music with my friends and then like they just find new music and then I'm like what is this but um I really like Pandora I find songs in there and a lot of times it's like songs I already knew but I never knew the title of so then it just is like thank you because that is me with so many songs like I know so many songs but I don't know the title so I can't like listen to them but um I usually listen to like rap 2015 or Fetty Wap or like Race Rumored Radio those are usually what I listen to but yeah um Tell me about your secret crush. Um, I don't really have a secret crush. I mean, I like this kid, but... It's not really a secret. But, I mean, I'm not gonna, like, say his name because, like, this is the internet, so... No! Um, where would you go if money wasn't an issue? <clears throat> well, um, I say this every time this question is asked. I always say, like, somewhere tropical, like a beach or Paris... If money wasn't an option, I'd probably go to Paris just because, like, that would be so expensive. I'll probably never be able to go there unless I'm, like, a millionaire. Which, actually, in dental right now, we have to do, like, a project, and it's, like, huge. And we have to research, like, every single dental career you could think of. And then some, like, I haven't even heard of half of them. Like, what the hell is a periodontist? I didn't know until today. But, like, one of the things we have to search is, like, the salary. And I wanted to be a dental hygienist. But then... <clears throat> Sorry, I just have a sinus infection, so my voice is still, like, really gross. But, um, I kind of want to be an orthodontist now because they make bank. Like, I did not even think they made that much money, but, like, I was, like, researching that one today. And they make so much money, so I was like, what? But, yeah, unless I'm, like, a millionaire, then I probably won't be able to go to Paris, so I'm going to go with Paris. Or, again, like, somewhere like Costa Rica, Jamaica, the Bahamas. That would be so nice. Aruba. I always say that one with, like, a face because that's where me and Logan, like, plan to go on our honeymoon. I hate myself. Okay. But I do really want to go there because it's just another tropical place and I love those. Um, what's your deepest wish? I guess my deepest wish, honestly, is that whenever Logan gets it back, I just really want to be able to see him because when he gets back, he's obviously, like, he was gone for 15 months. He's not going to have... Like, I'm pretty sure his phone's, like, turned off already, like, whenever I text him. Okay, so my mom is home and I have to go with tanning, so I'm gonna try to finish this and my camera just died again. I love my life. Okay, but like I was saying, I guess, like, just not, I mean, I guess, like, my deepest wish is, like, to date him when he gets back, but I, I know that I don't actually want to do that because that's just, like, a part of my life that's, like, over with, but I just really hope that whenever he gets back, I can at least see him so I can just, like, see how he's doing after not talking to him for so long um do you believe in magic i mean i don't know this is tumblr so this is like a deep question obviously like magic tricks are always like a trick to it you know but like magic i don't know i guess life is magical um tell me a ghost story i've never had a ghost story in my life and if i did i would probably crap my pants so yeah um, what's the weirdest thing that has happened to you? I had a seizure at a football game, and that was really weird. Oh, and this one time, I was walking around the mall with Elisa, and, no, it was with Madison, and we were walking, and this dude just ran up and just grabbed her butt. Like, what? He, no, he just ran up, okay, and he took one hand and, like, just scooped, like, both of our butts and then like ran he was like running and then just did it to these two people in front of us and we were just we're like what just happened like it was literally the weirdest thing like who does that literally who does that like what the fuck so that was seriously really weird um <clears throat> what do you need to get off your chest um nothing really i hate anatomy a lot i really wish i could drop that class it's so annoying um what are you mad about I'm mad about this kid, how he, like, wasn't talking to me for a few days, and I'm sitting here, like, crying, like, thinking that I, like, fucked it up, and I'm like, oh my god, he's not gonna talk to me anymore. I'm coming! And then, he's like, 
I'm going through something. I didn't. I was waiting to talk to you because I knew you'd make me happy and blah, blah. And I was like, really? You had me over here crying, thinking that, like, we were done and, like, so I'm really mad about that. Like, don't just ignore a girl. Like, seriously, for real, like, don't just, like, ignore a girl and just drop her and not talk to her and then like, give her no explanation why you just, like, disappeared. Like, that shit ain't cute. No, stop. Okay. Um, what are you excited about? Um, I'm excited because tomorrow I'm going to Lane's. And Lane's, like, my best friend, but she lives in Akron now, so I don't get to see her. I used to hang out with her every single day, but I don't get to see her as much now. I only get to see her on the weekends. So I go there, like, every weekend, so... I'm really excited to see her tomorrow because she honestly makes me so happy I can't even put it into words. And then the next one is, are you afraid for the future? I'm afraid for the future because, like, anything can change in an instant. You never know what's going to happen, but I'm excited because change is good. So, yeah, that was this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Sorry it was really long and there wasn't that many questions, but you guys know I like to talk to you a lot. Probably too much, but, you know it happens. So I'm gonna go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry my voice sounds really annoying. <clears throat> I hate myself. Okay, I love you all so much and stay beautiful and leave me a comment down below. It can be a request or just whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. I read them all. So yeah, I love you all so much. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, bye. Guys, wait really quick. I got my nails done yesterday for homecoming and I'm like really excited. So yeah, okay, okay. I'm going now. Love you. Bye.